portray for you the power of the sun to this dance. And if we know how to take from that energy and utilize the energy with Pono and with Aloha to engage it for all people, this project shall prosper in great And this was something that Thomas Edison said to his friends, Henry Ford and Henry Firestone. He said, I'd put my money on the sun and solar energy. What a source of power. I hope we don't have to wait until oil and coal run out before we tackle that. <laughs> now, we set a very aggressive goal almost two years ago with the Hawaii Clean Energy Initiative that we would be 70% clean energy by the year 2030. We picked that year because it was one generation. It represented one generation. But in order to achieve the very aggressive goal that we set out, we have to have innovation. And Darren has been a part of that. We've tried to recognize him from the government side. I give out monthly innovation awards, and he's been recognized twice. Uh, once in 2008, uh, Sopaji was recognized. And then again, in April of this year, Kiaholi Solar Power was recognized. One, two, three. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the solar farm is officially dedicated, and we welcome all of you to please get up, stretch your legs, walk around. But we do ask, however, that you refrain from walking between the rows because look to your far side. The solar flares are now beginning to open. The farm is coming to life. Uh, I'm originally from the Big Island. I grew up in Hilo, uh, where obviously it's very rainy, very cloudy all the time. And, and how I got interested uh, in energy was that in Hilo, many, many years ago, we were faced with some challenging times where we had actually an uh, unusual set of blackouts because we had lacked uh, enough power generation for the island. And, and at that time, I remember thinking to myself and, and talking to my dad about how that just absolutely didn't make any sense to me, how we could have this really uh, fantastic island that, as Howard mentioned, uh, is or has access to some of the best natural energy resources anywhere in the world, and yet we could be uh, in a position where we didn't have enough power. So Sopaji and the concept really began for us back in about 2002, where we began working with Hawaiian Electric to try and achieve this vision of, of a clean energy future. And we began taking a look at a variety of different kinds of technologies uh, in which we could use it to do what we're doing here today. We learned very early on that some of the more conventional technologies like flat plate solar collectors, uh, or photovoltaic systems were a little too inefficient uh, to be used on a large scale. It was through that, that journey, if you will, and understanding and prototyping really a variety of different technologies that we came uh, to end up here with our technology, our micro CSP technology today. Effectively, what, what CSP is, is we use large mirrors and we focus the mirrors on the sun the, as the sun moves through the sky, the mirrors move as well. Uh, and the sunlight strikes the mirrors, bounces from the mirrors into a pipe that you'll see in the field here. Through that pipe, we can circulate a liquid, which we make to be as hot as we possibly can. And to put it very simply, we try to get that liquid to about steam temperatures. From that point, uh, we can effectively turn a turbine very similar to the way that utilities would produce energy now, except of course in, in a lot of conventional utilities, they would burn fossil fuel for that. So what we're effectively doing is producing energy much the same way, but with no fossil fuel. This beautiful island of Hawaii, Moko Keawe, is now at 31% uh, renewables. and. Uh, we're really excited about the potential and possibilities, and we really believe that we're standing on the cusp of great creativity and innovation, not just for the state of Hawaii, and not just for the Pacific, but for the entire world. Uh, it's not as me getting carried away. <laughs> the world, no, but uh, you know, we're the astronomy capital of the world. No, settle down, Bill. He's just me. Yeah. But when you think about it, you know, we're on this beautiful island: solar, wind, geothermal. Uh, we have the potential and possibility of ocean thermal energy. Uh, we have here at Nelha, uh, in partnership with Dutch Shell Oil, developing algae as an energy source. 
had the privilege and honor of being with Governor Lingo earlier this year, opening up Big Island Carbon in Kauai Hai using Magnet Hus as a source of energy generation. And that's not counting Pacific Biodiesel that's looking to come to our island. We've had conversation. That doesn't include uh, biofuels uh, and Hamakua that is still being talked about. So really the future uh, and achieving these goals of being energy self-sufficient rests with all of us working together.